In our morning rounds, new evidence of the possible health risk from chemicals in plastic. A series of studies looked at replacements for potentially harmful compounds thought to be safer, but the alternatives may be just as risky, especially for kids. Our Dr. David Agus is with us. David, good morning. Good morning. What did these studies find? So about a decade ago, a particular compound was pulled from the market because it was used to make plastic soft, so you can bend them. And then what happened is it turned out to increase blood pressure and cause endocrine disruptions in kids. You're talking about BPA. Yeah. Uh, no, this is DEHP. So okay. BPA actually came after that okay. and it had the same issues. And this is one of the two of the replacements for that, DIMP and DIDP. And what these do is the same. It's made to make plastic softer. Right. And now in a study, two separate studies in children, it increased blood pressure association. It's not causal necessarily, but there's an association. Higher levels of these, higher blood pressure, and right. more insulin resistance. So the potential is it may be affecting these children. So, let me, so we're showing here, these are takeout counters that yep. all of us use. I feel like any breakfast sandwich or fruit that we get is in a container like this takeout. And you're saying that the DIMP and... DIDP. And how did they connect the chemicals with these with higher blood pressure and insulin resistance? So they're, they're coating these, these plastics. Mm -hmm. And what happens is, especially when you put it in a microwave, right. it heats it and it goes into some of the food. And you eat the food and it goes into your bloodstream. So in this study, they looked at the urine in kids and they found the levels elevated. Yeah. And the higher it was, the higher the blood pressure and the more insulin resistance. So the key is, if you'd get this in your takeout food, Take it and then actually put it into a glass container at home. Right. I know it takes an extra 30 seconds. I do that. But yeah. believe yeah. me, it works. You know, my kids love that frozen macaroni and cheese. Right. And so they take it and they put it into a bowl I make them, not in the container it came with before they put it into the microwave. Right. And it makes a big difference. The other is, you see on the bottom here, I know you can't see it on camera, but there's a, there's a triangle there and inside mm -hmm. is a number. Yep. Mm -hmm. And those numbers correlate to what chemicals are in it. Mm -hmm. And so you want to avoid the ones that have three, six, and seven. This one has a number six. There you yeah. go. So we want to get to the industry response because they basically say that these, these chemicals have been studied. They do not migrate out of products easily. How are they making those claims with these new medical findings? And really, what all should we be avoiding? Because I went through this purge about six months ago, right. and I switched to glass. I don't heat anything. I don't put it in the dishwasher if it's plastic. Like, what are the real takeaway messages for people at home in terms of how we consume these? So there are three different agencies that regulate this, the CPSC, the FDA, and the EPA. And there's, there's this notion there is that they only react when there's a problem. So it's kind of innocent until proving guilty. And so, you know, that's an issue there, and that there's not a lot of study before they go into, uh, into these containers, then they can affect all of us. And so we need to be aware of what you put your food in as much as possible. Use glass. Don't put it in the microwave or into the dishwasher, which can make these chemicals leach out. Right. Good information, Dr. David Agus.